you can't make a lot of money scalping. One of the very best intraday traders that I know who makes consistently $500,000, $600,000 a month every month, guess what he does for a living? He only scalps. He scalps with size. He only scalps. One of the myths is that you can't make a lot of money scalping. All right, that's not true. Swing trading offers more edge. On the smallest time frame, sometimes offers the most edge. You can't make consistent money scalping. And I've known traders that are profitable, even a trillion. There's people that are profitable nearly every single day. You can't scout with big capital. There's going to be some headlines where you can make a million plus. If you are an aspiring scalper and you've heard bad things about it, in this video, I want to share what I've learned early in my trading career from verified multimillionaire scalpers. It is the complete opposite of what I've heard on social media. Also, I will detail five reasons beginning scalpers fail. And at the end of the video, I'll mention the one thing that makes all styles of trading profitable. Please like and subscribe and send this video to an aspiring scalper or someone that is confused about scalping versus intraday versus swing trading. To start, I want to address the big question. What is more profitable, swing trading or scalping? And I want to offer a different perspective. Here on the right, you have Lance Breitstein, a verified eight-figure lower time frame trader. And on the left, you have Christian Kulamagi, a verified self-funded eight-figure swing trader. I'm going to leave the Jim Simmons and Paul Tudor Jones types out of the argument because it may be hard for you to put yourself in their shoes because they're running a fund, right? So these are individual traders. But I do want to tell you, you do have lower time frame trading firms that are making hundreds of millions as well as funds that are swinging. The reason why I bring Lance and Kulamagi is because most of the time, arguments go like this. The swing trader says, hey man, swing trading is more profitable. The scalper says, no, scalping is more profitable. And the swing trader says, I have more payouts than you. My job is to bring the truth to the independent trader that is at home trying to walk this walk, trying to lead their job, trying to become a successful trader. So I bring both perspectives to my podcast and my videos because many times people suffer from confirmation bias or availability heuristic or anchoring, right? So confirmation bias is the tendency to recall only information that confirms your pre-existing beliefs. Availability heuristic occurs when people estimate the likelihood of something based on how easily things come to their own mind, right? So a swing trader may say, I don't personally know any successful scalper. So they erroneously, they make the error to conclude that scalping isn't profitable or vice versa. And anchoring is the tendency to rely heavily on your first impression of a thing. So maybe someone failed at scalping or had a mentor that suggested that it didn't work. So that anchored their belief about scalping. I'm bringing Lance and Kulamagi to show that both can make big money. Both are profitable. So stay tuned and remember to share this with an aspiring scalper that you know is failing because now I'm going to jump into what I learned from pro verified scalpers. When I first started, I spent about 20,000 on education and I read about 50 books. The exposure to the Market Wizard series and the different trading styles that I read about in the books and my education through SMB helped shape my perspective on all styles of trading. If I would have only had YouTube, uh, Instagram, or maybe one mentor, my perspective may be different, but finding the professionals helped me form an outlook and a more neutral perspective about the different styles because you have major players that make money from different styles. So now here's what I learned about scalping from pro traders. Number one, you can be consistently profitable over several years scalping. Number two, you can make multi-millions scalping. Number three, all scalps are not equal. There are eight plus scalps that have extremely high win rates. Number four, you can scalp with large size. And number five, you don't have to take a lot of trades. A lot of times people argue that if you're scalping, you have to take hundreds of trades a day. But actually, some of the best opportunities that you want to scalp out quickly when you have those inefficiencies that show up, a lot of times the traders that are putting large size on those opportunities, they aren't trading those particular types of opportunities every single day. Even though they scalped it, they actually waited on that opportunity to form and they took a high quality scalp setup. Now, if they would have tried to swing 
during that particular opportunity where Edge appeared, the Edge would have disappeared on the higher time frames. There's a misconception that all scalps are equal. And number six, you can grow a smaller account with scalping. Now, why are so many people failing if these things hold true? Here are the five reasons why I believe scalpers are failing. Let's go back to Lance and Kulamagi. After sitting down with Lance and hearing his perspective on what makes an A plus scout and examining Kulamagi's trading style, which I'll try to bring him on the podcast, they are both looking for the same thing just on different time frames. And that brings me to point number one. In my opinion, the number one reason I believe beginners fail is because they are not scalping the big movers. They're not scalping the very volatile instruments that have large momentum. In the Forex space, many of the spelling scalpers that I've met center their scalps around very choppy and ranging markets. Now, to be successful from the pro perspective, you need to find the big movers. You need to find those that are going to be moving aggressively in one direction. As a scalper, if you develop your playbook in a way to find indications that your symbol is going to move, this is the very first and most important step in my opinion. And this is held in high regard by most of the successful scalpers that I've met. So no matter what time frame you are on, you have three types of trades. You have momentum trend trades, you have reversal trades, and you have ranging trade, regardless of the time frame. So when I took this trade on NAS 100 and profited around 7K, in a few minutes on one of my funded accounts. This was based on the announcement of NVIDIA's earnings. NVIDIA grew 16% within one hour. If you are scalping here, all you need is a little piece of the momentum with the right volume, with the right price action. You can just take a nice amount of that money out of the market and you have a huge edge when your symbol is moving aggressive in this way. Now, it's hard not to make money when price is moving that way. So in my opinion, most beginning traders are trying to scalp the choppy markets instead of scalping a symbol that is backed by a strong catalyst. Now, let's take an example with Euro USD. It's hard to have edge in this choppy ranging market, even for a swing trader. Let's say a swing trader enters into a buy on this choppy daily chart, like we see here with your USD. The swing traders have no edge here. A swing trader like Kulamagi is looking for evidence that there will be an event that causes his trade, that causes his symbol to aggressively go in one direction. For example, look at the Tesla trade. It's trading a tight range and there's a strong catalyst to break out of that range for about a 20 R swing trade. This is what is missing for both beginning scalpers, intraday, and swing traders. They don't know what a catalyst is and they are not trading something that's going to have large momentum. That's my opinion. Now, on to number two, question for you. Have you ever known a losing scalper to have a playbook with clear rules? Most struggling scalpers that I know rely too much on their own intuition, which they have no historical intuition, right? They have no real playbook. It's like if I were to go and swing a golf club for the first time, trying to do things, trying to test things out, and I'm basing what I'm doing on no experience. I have no historical reference versus swinging the club based on hard rules that have been proven to make all golfers that played the game before me successful. So scalpers need a playbook. They need documented setups with edge that have been back tested and forward tested to be successful. Most scalpers don't have a documented and back tested edge and that's necessary to be successful. They don't have entry, exit and trade management rules. So I'm currently hosting free webinars on how to build a playbook based on Mike Villafuri's book, The Playbook, right? Because it's such a critical skill that the community needs. So so click the link in the description to sign up for free webinars. You can come ask questions and we dive deeper into these topics as a community, as a group. Number three, have you ever watched a symbol on the lower time frame and it seems like it's moving up and down all day, but there's no consistent pattern? If so, those are algos that are running. Algos run all day long and buy up large quantities through a bunch of small transactions or sell through a bunch of small trades. The reason why is because large funds deploy algos to buy and sell large quantities through small transactions so that they can buy or sell at the best price. If they sell too much or buy too much, the market will move and prices will go higher or lower, right? So when there's no catalyst for your symbol, 
to move aggressively in one direction, to have volatility, you are literally trying to beat the computer. This is why people say the lower time frames are noise. Because if you're trying to scalp something that doesn't have volatility and more participation than normal, you'll be fighting a losing battle against algos. Now, people have had beginner's luck for maybe a month or two or three, maybe six months. But to profit over the long term from this particular style, it's gonna be pretty hard. Number four, have you ever entered into a scout and gotten run over? Stop loss hit and price goes aggressively in the opposite direction of your trade. You may have been fighting the larger trend. A lot of beginners, they have no awareness of multiple time frames. I believe the best scalp trades, the best opportunities with the highest R&R can come within the context of multiple time frames. When you have multiple time frames aligned, you have larger institutions trading, you have position traders trading, you have intraday traders, intraweek traders. They're all aligned and trying to push that symbol higher because they're buying. So you're aligned with multiple participants. And these are the opportunities. These are the scalp opportunities that start off as scalps where you eventually start to hold these longer. These are where you have smaller risk and the reward goes maybe 6R, 7R at some times or even higher just because you have a smaller stop loss entry, but you have the larger time frame and larger traders on your side pushing the market aggressively in your direction. So many times scalpers get run over by the larger time Time frame traders by trying to counter those larger time frame moves. For example, if we look at this gold chart, you'll see that the daily four hour, one hour are all trending. And at this time, there was also a geopolitical catalyst to move the market. So the one minute offers an entry model for an opportunity to catch a buy. But it's not only this entry model, it's that we have a fresh news catalyst, is that we have higher time frame zone, is that we have, and it's that the higher time frame itself is in an uptrend. So all of these edges start to stack so that we have a higher probability trade. Number five, personality. Some traders don't have the personality or fast thinking skills for scalping. So another style may be better for them, bringing Lance and Kulamagi back, right? The bottom line is to be a successful scalper or swing trader, you need real edge. The symbols that are moving off of the most edge, moving in one direction aggressively. If you're interested in scalping or swing trading, find a mentor with real edge. If you need a journaling platform that will help you refine your edge, check out Tradezilla. You can get a discount by using my code in the description. Now, here's my last point. I often host community webinars that are deeper dives into the topics that I cover on YouTube. Click the link below to sign up for the upcoming webinar. If you're watching this video close to the posting time, the current series is on how to build a playbook with Edge. If you're watching this video a few months after I posted it, you can still sign up to receive notifications about the free webinars, but we may be covering a new topic. If you want to dive deeper and to hear more information about scalping from an eight-figure trader, watch this video.